Explain explain every explain to somebody who doesn't know. So the, one child the policy is that still going on is in what China? India should be doing right now, but they don't. <laughs> who India? India should be having one child policy. So, okay, so you believe in a one child policy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so is is that still going on in China now? No. No, 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 they actually pay you to have more kids because the one child policy really fucked up the gender balance. There's way more boys, right? Very little women right. because little girls just like disappeared, and oh, there's more men, and it's hard to get date and how to get married. Getting married is a big thing in China, you know, you know, and then all the ugly bitches be like, "You will marry me? You better buy my brother a car, buy my older brother two car, buy my retard brother five cars." And then the ugly bitches being like taking over because <laughs> they have a pussy. You know what can you do? And this is a policy that they had in the 90s. Mm -hmm. For how long? How many years did they have a one At child? At least like a decade. A decade. Mm -hmm. And so take us take us to the-, the From late 85 to- So at the absolute worst end of that is mm -hmm. somebody has a baby, it's a girl, and mm -hmm. what do they do? Girls, that's a baby. That's a baby. Like a, over there in the hill. Yeah. This is actually pretty prime for it because you can't really see anything. Coyotes just come and take it. You just throw the baby in there. <laughs> The pretty one got picked up. The ugly one stayed there. And it's true. Your parents had you, had you at home mm -hmm. to avoid any problems, right? Is that true? If I'm home, uh, I'm not on the birth record. Right. If I'm gone. So, what was, so, so, so you had a, a brother too? Younger. Younger brother. Younger yeah, younger. Where is he? Is he here? Uh, he, no, he's in China. They're in, in China. I came here by myself. Your mother's here though. She came after I had my baby here. And so you, she came over after my divorce to help me with the children. And your I father? Was not, I was not going to see her again. I'm working on his green card, my father. You are. So he can drink here. <laughs> he's drunk. It's okay. He won't remember. He won't. He's like, well, I, he likes to drink. Yeah, he's alcoholic. He's like, I'm, he's never been sober. <laughs> and you like to drink? Mm, I used to drink a lot. Now I just get high on stage. Uh huh. From, from the stage high. Uh huh. Yeah. It, it, okay, and so they they have you. He he that drove me home one time. He did. First oh time yeah, I was yeah, yeah. Tell yeah, us, tell us. First time I was drunk on stage. <clears throat> I'll never forget about it. I speak very slow. I people were like, it was. I was having a hard time. I think something. My ex was getting me fucked up in China with a major lawsuit that uh, uh, is just very nasty. So I have I had my emotion get the best of me. I start drinking. I start drinking, and I didn't. Whenever I drink, I don't eat anything. Yeah, you were at Soho House. Yeah, I remember before. House. Yeah, uh, there's like a, you know, I was with my friend Glenn. Glenn is your party friend. You don't want to be around when you are having a bad day and you have to perform. <laughs> so he bought a five bottle of champagne that I drink the four. Oh my god! I had a four bottle of champagne before I went to. Oh my god! The improv and you I were had, like fucking sideways that night. I also had more. Did you go up on oh, stage? Oh, yeah, I did a whole set. You did? I headlined. <laughs> you did? I taped it. I headlined. Oh, wow. I watched it. I was like, that's Amy Rice House right here. <laughs> and what was funny about that night was... Amy Rice House. This is when you had... You still have these guys, but I was telling Jason before. You have like a coterie of like really strange old guys mm -hmm. that come that I swear are like... Waiting for the opportunity to, to get you home. in the van. So you have a yeah. lot. Of, so you have a lot of weird guy. Akita told me you have a lot of weird guys that come to your shows before you even start. They sit in the front row and they wait. Mm -hmm. Is this true? And they don't laugh. They and, don't laugh. And they, they don't stare laugh. at me. And Kita described them as almost like murderous, like maybe like the like uh, like guys that would just do some harm. Yeah, Is that I true? mean, I, I, my whole life I've been waiting for uh, uncle to touch me. I was twerking in diapers, but no men want me. Now old guys like me. Now it's too late. I want the attention. You always, know, you always know when she's playing a club because there's all these like panel vans parked. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. He he had to drive me home. So yeah, so I had to drive her home because there were so many weird <laughs> fucking not, people. That's not true. There's not there's no vans. Really? Go, go check it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so go ahead. Sorry. So no, and it, there were so many weird people that were around i was like terrified yeah that she was not going to be safe so sure. yeah so i drove her right i had no idea that she lived an hour outside of la though <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he had no idea oh yeah i know where you live that's that's not that far it's not an hour it's but not an hour but yeah i know it where feels you live. like an hour you you live that's a very uh that's a big chinese community out there because my mom don't speak english and i'm touring most of my, like, my years so i just want to make sure she 
when I'm not around, she can commute. She can go to the supermarket. She can go to yeah. the school. Also, yeah. they have very good school system. Everything's good. Yeah, it's nice out there. Very nice. So, <clears throat> so I'm gonna give her the house eventually. I'll yeah. buy up something in Beverly Hills. Yeah. Yeah, because um, I have a good deal with Beverly Hills. I'm gonna get a carrying permit. You're gonna get an apartment. Carrying permit. Oh, a carrying permit. Mm -hmm. In Beverly Hills. I have a gun in my purse. Oh. Maybe if I'm on the road. I have guys the first going. on this podcast. Yeah, I, I don't. We haven't had in, Ted Nugent yet, but yeah, I, I believe in people who can protect themselves. But I, I'm not a crazy. I'm not obviously I'm crazy, but I just want to make sure I don't die before I'm very famous. Have you ever had to use it? Yeah, you have. Uh -huh. um, I was in Kentucky when you were in Kentucky. Yeah, you went to college right. in Kentucky, right? University of Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Wait, yeah. hold on. Am I? Did you say you used a gun on a guy in Kentucky? Not on a guy, but I have to take it out from my purse. Just be like, oh, don't touch me. Wait, so you do have a firearm? It's not legal. I should not have it. But my friend, she has it is her. <laughs> okay, we're She's bleeping that out. <laughs> Let me just have Naveen get the kids out of the house. Mm -hmm. Hang on a second. Guns are funny. Guns are... Yeah, she has it. With her. Are you... Guns are funny. Guy? Guns make me. They make me. I, 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 I admire. I, I'm. I'm all for anyone to carry one. But like the fact that she has one right now, I'm like, no, not here. Oh, it's not here. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. Do you have one? I, 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 no. No, do you? Yeah. Oh, uh, you do. Yeah. I don't even like saying that I don't have one, but. Yes, you do. I mean, he I does. Mean, yeah, I do. He does. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't know. It's huge. I'm I a saw, big. I I'm saw, a big lefty, but yeah. I saw, I saw, um, I've seen a gun. I've seen a gun get fired off into a deer's head once. That was, that was, that was probably Pretty the closest awful. I've been to a gun. One time, one time there was a dead deer. In our... be messy. That's too, that's okay. One time there was a dead deer in my backyard. So I'm going to put this on my, can I take off my shoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time there was a dead deer in my backyard. This is the difference between Wait, men here? It, it, no, my other house. Sure RFK don't know it about. You what? Make sure RFK don't know about it. He's going to come. So oh, RFK? Yeah. <laughs> one time there was a deer in my backyard and it was it was like had like a broken leg and so I was like alright I don't know what to do so I call the, the the people and the woman gets on the phone and she's like oh she's like okay someone's gonna come and get the deer and rehabilitate the deer they'll take the deer no problem and I was like oh okay great 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 and then a guy shows up a ranger oh at, are they, is he hot he was pretty hot rangers are always hot yeah he was hot because yeah, when yeah. you drove in the wood uh, did he really jerk off you know I don't know did he what if you jerk off in the wood and nobody see, did you really jerk off? <laughs> if you jerk off in the woods and nobody, nobody sees, did, you really jerk did the ranger get hard? Did, did the ranger come? <laughs> they are hot though. Anyways, the ranger came. Did he? Yeah, he came all over. Oh. End of story. No, he came and he and he 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 just brought the gun out and he's like, all right. He's like, where's the deer? And I was like, what? wait, wait, wait. I thought you were rehabilitated. And he's like, rehabilitate it. He's like, no. He's like, I'm going to shoot it in the head. 